I really have only one important thought about this episode. Poor Mando, man. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Din. The the dude is literally bending the rules of everything he has ever known for a child. His faith is being questioned. His codes are being broken. Uh, look, I don't know how this season will end. It could be hopeful. It could be grim. It could be middling. But whatever happens, the Mandalorian is going to walk away less of a zealot like he is now and more of a true Mandalorian. But anyways, let's go over my notes because I have a few. First off, just a small thing. I love the fact that the New Republic is using prison labor to scrap old Imperial ships and fighters. And I like to imagine that everything they scrap ends up getting repurposed into infrastructure or the Republic's own navy. I don't know. I don't know what it was about that, but the entire scene at the very beginning of this episode, it just tickled me. Second, in a scene that came just during my time admiring this stupid junkyard, dude, dude, Boba's armor, oh my god. God, it looks so good. Never did I think I'd see the day where Boba Fett has shiny, freshly painted armor outside of the Clone Wars. It's actually almost jarring to look at because I am so used to adult Boba with this scraped up, war-torn look. Maybe it's like symbolism or something. Maybe like the fresh coat of paint symbolizes a newer, less morally ambiguous Boba. And if that's true, maybe my worries from the previous episode regarding Boba are just dumbfounded. But still, uh, I, I don't know. Boba still has the potential to do some pretty bad things given his past. But speaking of the past, another dude moment. Dude, Operation Sender. Never did I think I would see Boba in nicer clothes, and never did I expect to hear Cinder dropped in The Mandalorian. For those who don't know, Operation Cinder was the name given for the directive ordered after the death of Emperor Palpatine, which it basically outlined that if there was no Palpatine, there is no empire. Therefore, it must be destroyed. And so, after Palpatine died, Operation Cinder was launched with the idea of the Empire destroying itself, everything they held, while they did as much damage to the galaxy as humanly possible. And the fact that Operation Cinder is even mentioned here, it really makes me wonder about the Palpatine theory I had. In this theory, I theorized that the reason Moff Gideon and needs the child is to aid in the process of cloning the Emperor. And the reason they would need the child to do this is because Palpatine's spirit, the essence of Sidious's ability in the Force, is way too powerful to shove inside just an ordinary clone body, so you would need something to supplement the sheer power of Palpatine with something as equally as strong in the Force. I'll be honest, I feel like I explained my idea much better in Episodes 4 review, which you can go watch right here if you're interested in knowing more. Although, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's come up with this theory, so I'm sure there's plenty of other videos out there that explain it much better than I ever could. And lastly on my list for today, the officer Din and Bill Burr, yeah I'm gonna call him Bill Burr, the officer they talk to, this dude is straight up old Empire. He embodies everything the Empire held dear, order over freedom fear to achieve that order, the brash necessity of murder, and a great distaste for a new republic. And it's funny because everything he said more or less in this episode came true. The new republic idealed freedom so much more than security, they were their own downfall, and this downfall left the galaxy more insecure than ever before simply due to the fact that after episode 9, there are no big galactic powers in play anymore, at least not on the level of the Empire or the Republic. And if the New Republic actually valued security over freedom a little bit more, the First Order might have never came and their own destruction would have never happened. So who knows, maybe another Empire will rise from the ashes of the New Republic, which, <laughs> that would be so ironic. Ironic. 
could save others from death, but not himself. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments about this video, this episode, Star Wars or its lore, you can leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to read each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.